Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and today's video is going to be a bit different. So usually uh, on this channel I create Revit tutorials or Revit courses and I share with you my Revit project files, things like that. Uh, but today I want to do something different. The reason for that is because I hear a lot of uh, people saying that Revit or BIM, uh, Building Information Modeling, is just one of the programs that you can learn for architecture and for 3D, but you can either learn Revit or maybe Maybe SketchUp or Rhino or 3ds Max, it doesn't matter, it's just another 3D uh, piece of software. And this can get really annoying, especially to me. I, I didn't go for Revit and I didn't decide to make Revit tutorials just because I thought it was one of the, uh, like, uh, just one more 3D uh, program. Actually, I think it's really important. I think it's the future of architecture and the whole building industry. And that's the reason I went into this. I think this is the future. And that's why I invested so much time and energy into creating this whole channel and uh, whatever you want to call it, this whole Balkan Architect brand. And uh, in today's video, I want to prove to you that Revit is the future by explaining to you that with Revit, you will get an architecture job. Now, the reason and how I want to do this is I found this article uh, online on Arc Daily. Uh, where they list out uh, like the top 100 architecture firms or practices in the world and I actually went through and I went through the trouble of searching for like each of them has like a little careers category where they kind of list out job uh, applications where you can apply for a certain position in the company and I searched for each architecture position and I kind of narrowed it down to see how many of these top companies actually are looking for uh, Revit users. So without further ado, let's get into that and let me show you what I found out. Okay, so as you can see here on, on my computer screen, this is the uh, like the Arc, Arc Daily article. So it's the world's 20. Okay, I thought it was 100. Okay, world's 20. Okay, world's 20 architectural uh, firms. And these are the largest firms and uh, by the number of employees. And here, as you can see, we have a list and I actually went through the top 10. I didn't go through all 20, but let's just look at first the top 10. So if we look at the number one, number one is, of course, Gensler. I, I think everybody heard of Gensler. They employ like 2500 uh, or 2600 architects and uh, they, uh, they are a huge company. And here, if we go to my first page, Gensler, uh, Gensler uh, Project Architect Architecture, and here what you do, your qualifications, and here experience with Revit. That's the more most important thing. First they start off with Revit, and then it's AutoCAD, Bluebeam, whatever, SketchUp, 3ds Max, Adobe Creative Suite, and all of that. But the first program they're interested in is, as you can see here, Revit. So that's the first one. Let's move on to the second one, and the second one, unfortunately, uh, doesn't really have on their web website doesn't really list out the uh, uh, what are the requirements for a job you can just send a, a resume you don't really uh, have a list of requirements so I'm going to skip that one let's now go to AECOM I, I don't really I haven't heard about this company before but here we go here we have uh, jobs and here stay current with uh, uh, with all of the software developments for BIM R Revit Rhino Dynamo and things like that but first here let's see uh, I think I saw it here. Uh, create dynamic renderings. Uh, where is that? Uh, where, where else did they mention Revit? Uh, let's see. Minimum requirements, highly proficient in Autodesk Revit. Here we go. So the minimum requirement is to be highly proficient in Autodesk Revit. That's the first one. That's the minimum. They don't ask for AutoCAD. They don't ask for whatever else. Rhino, 3ds Max, uh, SketchUp, I don't know. No, they ask for this, Revit Architecture. So that's the third largest company in the world. Let's go for number four. This is the Perkinson & Will USA. That's this over here, description. And and here, if we take a look at what they're uh, looking at, proficiency in 3D modeling, visualization, and graphics software, Revit strongly preferred. So the first one is Revit, and then, uh, I mean, that's the only one they list. So uh, fourth company in the world, 
Revit is uh, the strongly preferred piece of software. Let's move on. Let's go with HDR USA. So that's this HDR USA. Let's see, what do we have here for qualifications? Okay, this is in German, but I actually went through the trouble of translating this. So here, as you can see, it says uh, uh, Autodesk Revit architecture and BIM is important. So you should know AutoCAD and then knowing Revit architecture and uh, understanding BIM is really important for them. Now, this being in German, I'm not going to stick to that uh, too much, but you get the point. Okay, moving on, let's go. The next one is uh, the uh, uh, IBI group. Now again this one doesn't really list out the required software so I'm going to skip that one. Let's uh, move on. Let's go with Woods uh, Bagot, Australia and that's I think that's this one. Yeah that's this one and here as you can see uh, now this one is uh, a bit different so this one has actually the first thing that's listed is Rhino modeling and then underneath sound understanding of Revit. So they are looking for Rhino first and then Revit second. So out of all of these companies this one is the seventh one is the first one that actually lists any other software uh, beyond Revit as like the first main software that you should know. Okay let's move on to Hawk uh, uh, Architects USA here for required skills, drafting skills, uh, uh, 3D uh, modeling but here proficiency in Revit preferred. Again this one doesn't really list Revit it as the first one but it does list it as one of the like the preferred softwares that you should know uh, they do list AutoCAD first so that's I guess that's what's more important to do for them moving on let's go with the uh, I I this okay I'm not really pronouncing that right China and uh, for that one uh, I think that uh, that's this one yeah so uh, skills uh, strong design project management skills in V-Ray Revit BIM and Rhino grass grasshopper so they need skills in all of these softwares so V-Ray that's visualization so the first modeling software is Revit and they're looking for BIM and after that of course Rhino and rhinoceros so uh, and a grasshopper so right Rhino and, and Revit. Those are like the main two with Revit taking the lead. And let's move on to the final one, the 10th one, the DP Architects from Singapore. And let's open up here. And here they need a, let's see, a minimum five years, uh, good knowledge of details, and knowledge of computer 3D presentation programs such as uh, MicroStation, Revit, Photoshop, and SketchUp. So they are looking for Revit as well. So out of the first uh, top 10 companies, pretty much like uh, well, most of them and the first one and the third one are like explicitly looking for Revit users and then they're looking for other users as well, but Revit takes the lead. So I, I, I hope this does illustrate to you a little bit the importance of uh, learning Revit, especially now, especially when you can be extremely competitive with your knowledge of Revit. Later on, when Revit becomes more commonplace, you're not going to have such an advantage over your colleagues because you know Revit over maybe some other software. I guess at some point we're all going to know some sort of a BIM software. But at this point, when the whole world is kind of switching to Revit, now is the time where knowledge of Revit is going to get you that better job, higher paying job, a more interesting job, job of your dreams, whatever you're looking for. Revit is usually going to give you an advantage over your colleagues. So Revit is the one that you should know and I hope that going through this article and going through all of these websites, I hope I have proved in a way that the importance of knowing uh, Revit and using it for your uh, for your buildings and for your whole uh, design process. Okay, so tell me in the comment section below, do you agree with me? How, what do you think about this article and what do you, ha what do you think about the architecture companies in your uh, country or your area, do they hire mainly Revit users or are they maybe more interested in AutoCAD or Rhino or maybe some other or SketchUp users or some other software? So please tell me in the comment section below. I'm actually really interested to see how does this work in other countries, in different uh, areas. I think it's really interesting. In my country particularly, you can't get a job without knowing Revit or you can't actually get a well-paid job or a decently paid job or 
paid at all. You can get an internship, but not a decent job without any basic knowledge of Revit or building information uh, modeling. So I thought this was really interesting to, to, to share with you. And of course, if you want to learn Revit, you're at the right place. Click that subscribe underneath, go to my channel, explore. I have uh, like over 500 tutorials so far, I think. And also I have some advanced courses on my Patreon. First link in the description of this video takes you to my Patreon. I have over 30 courses so far. They are all over one hour long and I cover numerous advanced Revit topics that can take you just from a regular Revit user to a Revit expert. So that's what that's all about. Okay, so that covers this quick little video where I kind of wanted to prove to myself and to you, my audience, why I decided to choose Revit and why I think it's the future and why I think you should know it as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video and I'll be back with another regular Balkan architect tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.